this is Mike from Double Driver. I'm going to show you my rig today. Sorry for the noise. We're getting ready for a show in Chicago. Uh, this is my main rig. Uh, my newest guitar I've gotten from ESP. It is one of a kind. And uh, it's a uh, mahogany body, maple top. Fishman pickups, the modern influences, uh, ebony fretboards, 24 frets, reverse headstock, and the uh, the scale is 25.5. And uh, the pickups have different voicings. It doesn't come with a switch, but uh, my rep suggested getting that just so I can change the voice if I want. But I usually just leave it on one voice in anyway live. Let's see. Strings, SITs. Uh, we tune mostly in drop C. We have got a, one song on this tour that we do in uh, D standard. Uh, the gauges are 10, 13, 17, 30, 42, and 62. And just a volume knob, three-way switch. I, uh, I used to keep tone knobs on my guitar, but tones all the way up all the time anyway, so I just take them off. And uh, these guys come in handy for muting your strings. Um, so you don't have to set your gate quite as high. And that's what this piece of foam is there for on that side. Uh, I've been with ESP the, since day one, for so about 13 years now, since 2004. Uh, what drew me to ESP was, um, when I first joined Devil Driver, we were about to go do OzFest, and I knew that was going to be a good time for me to ask for an endorsement. So, I poked around Ibanez, you know, I was using a Fernandez at the time. Uh, who else did I look at? You know, Schechter, uh, pretty much any metal guitar company out there. And but ESP just had a lot of guitars that I would uh, that I would play. And I started off with their Eclipse series, and I do play those at home a lot. But I eventually switched to V's, and that's what I use live now. But uh, and they also treat me very well, and they're about the factory's about 45 minutes away from my house too which makes things nice okay it's not powered up at the moment but uh i used to bring out a voltage regulator from Furman, but this tour i decided not to because we had to do 70,000 tons of metal and uh that thing weighs a lot and i don't think i really need it for the axe effects anyway because i don't run ahead at the moment but uh so just a power conditioner uh electro voice wireless system that i've had for probably seven years and still works. It's awesome. And my fractal. It's basically everything in one. And I just go direct. Uh, right now, at the moment, I'm modeling a Friedman amplifier. Uh, and uh, But sometimes I also mix a uh, either a 5150 or 6505 in there. Maybe. Definitely one of my other favorite amps. And uh, I use them in the studio a lot. But uh, right now, I believe it's on a Friedman. No effects loop, everything is internal. That's one of the reasons why I got it. I didn't want to have a bunch of cables coming in and out of my rig anymore. It's, it's why I love Fractal so much. The effects are awesome, and you just open it up, plug it into the PA, and go, and we're on in-ears now. So we don't need any stage monitors. Um, it's not here right now, but I usually have an iPad set up right on top here to, uh, if I want to adjust monitors myself, I can now. And I get the, every single mic in the drum kit is I get to hear now, so it's almost like uh, being in the studio. Where before, I'd pretty much just have kick and snare in my wedges. But now I get the whole kit, I put a little bit of Neil in there, a little bit of Dez, um, a little bit of bass, but it's mostly just me and the drummer. We use JH Audio in ears. Uh, I think actually everybody does in the whole band. All right, here is the uh, MFC 101 counterpart or the uh, dedicated pedal board for the Axe FX, um, and three mission controllers. I have three because one is a volume, one is, you know, it, they're all expression pedals, so they could be hooked up any way you want, but this one just operates more like a traditional wall where it's got the click on, click off, and the red one is spring-loaded, so it just turns on and off the second you touch it, and the second you stop moving it, it turns off. And that's why I need both because there is one part in uh, a song called Hangman's Noose that we play where I need to do a very slow, uh, steady progression, and sometimes these have a tendency to turn off if you don't move them at a steady rate. So once this is on, it's on and it's staying on. But this is just a little bit more convenient. So the way I set this whole thing up is um, I have uh, 
how do you say? It, it, with the with fractal, they have presets and then they have scenes within those presets. So it's, it's kind of like a preset within a preset. So every preset, I have one for almost every song if I use effects. And channel one is always just a dry rhythm tone no effects on it whatsoever and uh, uh, second channel is usually a lead channel with some delay verb um, five is usually if I do do a clean tone that's where I store it for memory's sake um, but some songs I don't do any switching so I just leave it on any rhythm tone but if I have it like it's one song for clouds over California one for end of the line one for daybreak you know so after every song, I click up to the next patch, and I just kind of scroll through. And before we go out on tour, I arrange it so it's it's all in order on the set list. So we do the same set list every day. Thanks for checking out my gear today, and uh, watch out for Devil Driver. We're uh, going to be spending a lot of time on tour in the next year.